Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Mayor Corey Mason of the city of Racine, and I'm thrilled to be here today uh, with WIDA and other partners uh, to announce the development of this site uh, here in Uptown. So uh, we are thrilled to announce uh, what we have here today is an amazing opportunity to help build up Racine with another great project. Uh, and uh, we've got an amazing opportunity ahead of us uh, to protect some of these great historic buildings and create affordable housing opportunities for people who live right in the Racine area. We are thrilled to see the number of changes uh, that are coming to the area, the investments that are coming to the area. Uh, it comes on the heels of, of just shortly after announcing the Jack Kay uh, announcement just uh, to the other side of us uh, and to move forward and see a place where we can save some great historic buildings uh, in the third Aldermanic District in the uptown area just makes us very excited to be here. We're also very excited because it's a great partnership with WIDA, the Wisconsin Housing and Economic Development Authority, uh, that is making the opportunity uh, for this to happen a real possibility and hope that it is the start of many projects that we will be doing jointly with WIDA here in the Racine area. And we're also thrilled uh, to have Josh Jeffers and Melissa Goins here who are going to be the developers of this project. But it just really, I, I just want to thank so many community members from being here. Uh, I don't think I can thank everybody because then it'll seem like I'm taking role and acknowledging everybody in the crowd. But there are so many people who have brought us to this point. I want to acknowledge uh, Amy Connolly and the development department staff. Uh, I want to acknowledge uh, so many people who've done some great work. Uh, there's some, uh, uh, an alder here that I, I will introduce shortly, but I also want to acknowledge Alder Mary Land, uh, who's uh, not from this district, but once worked uh, in this building when it was gold medal loft. So here we are in this great opportunity to redevelop what was once an historic factory into historic housing to help build up Racine. Uh, WIDA and their partnership with the city on this project has been tremendous. They have found a way to make this project a reality and we hope it is the start of many things to come. Similarly with Jeffers and company for their commitment to the city, again, we hope this is the first of many projects in a partnership with them. So as we look at these, bu these buildings, and if you get a chance to walk through them and you hear people say uh, of historic buildings, I mean, there's a reason people want to save them, right? I mean, we just don't build buildings like this anymore. And whether it's on the outside or the inside and you look at it and you see the exposed brick, uh, you're reminded of the manufacturing legacy that once existed uh, in this building. Uh, these are places that people want to be. Uh, these are buildings that are worth saving. But to do that, it really requires a partnership with the city, with WIDA, and with the great development companies like Jefferson Company to be able to do that. The other reason this is important is it's another step forward to stabilize and revitalize Uptown. Uh, it's one of our major commitment areas. We've, we've committed to this for a number of years, and this is another example of a great project coming to the Uptown area to help build up Racine. It's a great location. We've got major employers right in the area. We've got Jacquet that's expanding. We've got Modine in the area. Twin Disc and others are not far away. Uh, and it's a real win for, for the neighborhood in terms of stabilizing what we want to do here. So as the mayor, uh, I am just thrilled and excited to talk about uh, the, the real possibility to rebuild this community, to rebuild this neighborhood, uh, to redevelop this building and build up Racine. And so with that, uh, I will uh, introduce Jeff Jeffers and Melissa Goins, who are going to talk about the development they plan to do here with the building. Jeff, Melissa. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, my name is Joshua Jeffers. I'm the uh, president of J. Jefferson Company. This is an especially exciting project uh, for me personally, for us as a company. We, uh, we actually do a, a lot as a company. We do uh, a lot of different types of real estate development and real estate investing. But uh, historic preservation and adaptive reuse is about half of what we do as a company. It's, it's something that I have a personal passion for, to see great buildings like these get restored and a second lease on life for another 125 years. Just a quick comment about these buildings. So these were uh, both built in 1894. These were the gold medal camp chair buildings. It's uh, kind of hard to imagine. There was a, a, a time when uh, before everything was mass produced plastic chairs, there were actually 125 uh, workers here at one point that were on-site manufacturing these wood and canvas chairs that were, uh, like a lot of businesses in Racine, they were exporting these products all over the world. Uh, when we first walked through this building, we were really struck by 
the great features that it has, that it lends itself very well to uh, a residential conversion. We have high ceilings here. This is a, 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 a timber building that has old growth wood uh, throughout, lots of great brick features. We think it'll lay out very, very nicely. I wholly encourage anybody that has an opportunity to walk through the building to get a feel for the window line and how it could lay out. And there's this uh, amazing interior courtyard where we will have uh, townhomes and, and walk-ups to really convert its use to, uh, to a residential one. One other quick thing I wanted to comment on is that this really is, uh, in our mind as the developer, this is phase one of a broader plan to redevelop both of these buildings. Uh, our intention is to close on, on both buildings in January of 2019. The uh, 1701 building that we're standing in front of will be the subject of the 77 unit uh, rehabilitation uh, completed by the end of next year. And pending the exact performance of this building and how well it does, our goal is to then move on to the 1700 building here across the street. Uh, this is a smaller building, a 30,000 square foot building, also has incredible features, lends itself very well to a residential conversion. And this site is actually, uh, it's a larger land parcel, which lends itself to the potential for some new construction as well, which would be great for this area. Historic preservation is a, it's a wonderful thing, but it's always great when we can combine it with some new construction, some new investment as well. So uh, on behalf of Jay Jefferson Company, I want to thank again the, the mayor and Amy Connolly, uh, WIDA and, and the WEDC, and all the other stakeholders that have been involved in this. It's, uh, it's a huge challenge taking a building like this and converting it to, uh, to a new lease on life, but we're up for it and we greatly appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. My name is Melissa Goins, and I am the Vice President of Development at J. Jeffers & Co. And since Josh used up all of our five minutes, <laughs> um, what I'll just say is that we have this thing about bringing pride and hope to people through strategic real estate investment. And this really just represents our commitment to bringing beautiful, um, sound investments to communities and people that deserve them. So thank you so much to the mayor, his team, and to the state for finding this um, transaction worthy of investment. Thank you. <laughs> well said, thank you very much. So the other thing that happens with historic buildings is in order to save them, sometimes uh, you need a little incentive to, to make it work. And the reality is that the city is putting forth its part, uh, but this wouldn't have come to this point were it not for the partnership uh, with the Wisconsin Housing and Economic Development Authority I, and I am so thrilled to be joined today by Wayman Winston uh, of WIDA, who's going to talk about this project. So, Wayman, thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning. I am really delighted to be here. I was telling the county exec, isn't this a wonderful day to uh, take the efforts of the mayor and the county exec to improve Racine, to do that with two extraordinary developers, two of my favorite developers. As Melissa said, and it's so true, she doesn't look at this project, and this is true for Jeff, Josh, I'm sorry, Josh, as solely brick and mortar. They look at how to develop a project that becomes part of the community and helps lift up the community, not only the day we cut the ribbon, but for future families who will live here. I have the honor to not so much talk about the project, but introduce uh, a person that many of you uh, may not know, but is critical to WIDA, and that's the chairman of our board. Uh, Ivan Gamboa has been our chairman for two years uh, as senior vice president of Tri-City Bank. He has presence in Racine. He knows this community. He was very delighted to be here, and it just seemed only right. Uh, I work for him, <laughs> that he has the opportunity to share with you this extraordinary project and the impact it will have on the community and our commitment to work with both the city and county of Racine to implement its efforts to improve both the city and county. Thank you. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, my board chairman, Ivan Gamboa.
Thank you very much, Wayman. Uh, good morning. You know, thank you all for being here today. I'm, you know, I'm really excited to be here to take part in this wonderful occasion. You know, just about everywhere that WIDA officials travel, um, you know, the comment we hear always is we need more affordable housing. And we don't just want it, we need it. And, you know, Racine is no exception. And especially now, the Foxconn project with 13,000 jobs on their way will necessitate more safe, affordable, quality housing. At WIDA, we listened, we heard you, and we took action. This year, we are awarding the $580,000 in federal affordable housing tax credits to the Gold Medal Lofts Project. You know, thank you. And over the 10 year life of the tax credits, that's just more than $5.8 million to help finance these much needed apartments. Now some notes about the tax credit program. The tax credit program is, is effective. It's a reflection of the dedication and commitment of Wisconsin's housing professionals that supply safe, quality housing options. WIDA is proud to administer this program that continues to be one of the state's most successful public-private partnerships. Now, look, the beauty of these tax credits is that they provide opportunities for private developers like Josh and Melissa to fund projects like that that the developers might not ordinarily be able to finance on their own. Our friends in the development industry know it too well because the competition for tax credits, it's intense. It's fierce. Uh, there are only so many treats to hand out. Now, trust me, there's no tax credit tree growing in Weta's backyard. We don't have one. But so when, when we award the tax credits, uh, we award them to projects that add the most to the community. Truly only the best of the best get the awards, like the gold medal lofts. I also, um, you know, the tax credits will help preserve the character of this building, and Josh was mentioning that earlier, and target tenants with a range of family sizes at different income levels, uh, including some market rate units. Um, I also want to emphasize something, that, uh, something else that's remarkable is that 23 of the 77 units are three bedroom units. This is really what makes that project stand out here. When it comes to three bedroom units, that doesn't, uh, it doesn't really happen often. Um, so, you know, so give yourselves a round of, round of applause for that extraordinary accomplishment, guys. So all of us at WIDA can't wait for the groundbreaking and grand opening. Thank you so much for having me, and uh, best of luck of everyone uh, for the gold medal loss. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for the whole team at WIDA, uh, for Mr. Winston, uh, for Mr. Uh, Gambo, and for Kim Plocky, who's uh, been such a great uh, advisor in all this. Thank you very much. Um, so, so much of what we do here in terms of trying to revitalize the community and build up Racine needs to be done in partnership. And we've got so many great partners that we've mentioned already. Our city staff, the developer, WIDA, uh, the Uptown Bid Board, the Racine Revitalization Partnership. Uh, and, and the partnership goes on and on. But one of the partnerships that, that I've been most proud of since becoming mayor is, is the strong relationship that we've forged with the county and the number of discussions that we've had around redevelopment, around housing, and a number of other topics, working together with the county. And so I'm, I'm deeply honored and thrilled uh, to share a podium and a stage with our county executive, Jonathan Delagrave. Jonathan. Good morning. Good morning. What a great day to be in Racine County, and specifically the city of Racine. Um, developments like this, well, t let, me, let me take a step back. To, to say we're truly in a transformational time, I think, would be clearly an understatement. And when you have transformational times and you have jobs, like Ivan and Wayman had mentioned, you need housing. And you need housing stock and you need creative housing. And this is what this, this project is. It's going to provide um, a, a, an interest for different types of housing for people. So whether they want to live in a single home or a development like this, we can offer that. And it also takes partnership and leadership. So, Mayor, thank you for your leadership. Thank you to the City Council for your leadership, Amy and your staff, and, of course, Weta, Kim and Wayman, 
we really appreciate that. This only makes the county better. It only makes the city count, the, the, the county better, the city better. So we're appreciative of this. What an awesome day. We look forward to the grand opening. And again, thank you for everybody being here. And last but certainly not least is the, the very local representation we have uh, in the area, and that's the Alder who represents uh, this area, the Alder from the third district, John Tate the second. John? Let's see. Good morning, everyone. We have about five minutes remaining. Um, again, my name is John Tate II. I represent the 3rd District. Since I haven't heard it yet, uh, to Jay Jefferson Co., welcome to the 3rd District and welcome to Uptown. Uh, this is exciting, um, particularly the aspect of affordable housing. And affordable housing is not a dirty word. Affordable housing that isn't, uh, housing that isn't affordable, isn't accessible, isn't useful. So it's exciting to have these sorts of develops happening in the 3rd District, particularly in Uptown. We're on Packard Avenue right now, otherwise known as Pool Avenue, because there's so many of there. Shout out to the Pool family who's watching. Um, and, and, <laughs> yes. and it's important when we do developments like this that we recognize there are people here already. And we don't want to displace people, we want to embrace people and ensure that any money that's invested in the city, in the county, in neighborhoods ultimately enriches the folks that are there and then brings in additional folks who enrich that community. So I'm excited for this development. I'm excited to see where it goes. And I'm excited to ensure that everybody who's currently here benefits and anybody who's coming is going to benefit. So again, it's exciting. Thank you to WIDA. Uh, thank you to Jay Jefferson Co. Thank you to City Development. Uh, you know, as we have all these developments happening, thank you to Racine Verization Partnerships because all these things aren't happening in silos. It comes with uh, cooperation. It comes with working together. And where we, when we get to where we want to go, it's going to be because we did it, holding our hands together, walking foot step by step. So thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for cooperating, and thank you for trying to build up a Racine together. Thank you. All right, everyone, thank you so much for coming. This is just such a, a great announcement. Uh, again, I'm really excited about the, the partnership with the developer and with WIDA and everything that, that we have to offer here. Uh, I believe if it's okay, people could, yeah. So if people want to check out what it looks like inside, I would encourage people to take a couple minutes when we're done here uh, to take a look at what it looks like because there's some amazing opportunities that we have in front of us. So thanks everyone for being here. Enjoy.